Jerry Lewis uh, was a a very fr good friend of Leonard Goldenson. Leonard Goldenson and his wife had founded the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation for the solution. They had a daughter that had that affected them, they, and uh, the two of them had started this very great foundation now, very important. And Jerry Lewis had been very helpful to him and uh, had done a few benefits. So Leonard wanted to put, put uh, him on the air. Uh, we bought the Capitol Theater on Vine Street in Los Angeles and redesigned it completely. Spent 500,000 bucks redesigning it for his show. And he was going to do a totally unscripted uh, ad lib uh, kind of show. And it went on the air and it was worse than a failure. It was a tune out. And uh, you know, when you get a really bad time slot, you give the other guy, the other two guys, a heck of a rest of the audience to go with. And I had to come out here and fire him, uh, which we had the right to do. We had guest stars. It was a, it was to, to be a tonight type show in prime time. And uh, anyway, we, we had this theater on our hands. And again, the name Ed Jury comes up. He and I were on the plane coming back from that terrible time. Uh, my son uh, was with Johnny Carson for seven years and, and Lewis substituted uh, several times for him and he told the writers this story about me. And he didn't know that he was speaking about my son but he gave me a pretty bad time in the conversation and later found out and apologized to Tom, my son. But uh, Ed Shurry came up from uh, his seat and asked the lady next to me if she would, he could swap seats with her. And he says, I've got an idea. He says, let's start uh, a Hollywood Palace. It's a show that is just like Paramount Palace in New York. It had been such a huge success up to that time. We'll have a different MC every week, the biggest we can get in Hollywood. And we'll build, I know a producer, he said, I know a producer that could do it. And uh, let's go. Well, it was on the air for five years. Four years, I think. What happened was that on the plane, I had, uh, by this time, we, we had made a deal with, with uh, Bing Crosby and had sold his specials beautifully. And they all read it very well. And uh, we had a deal with him and, and uh, the Rosenbergs uh, to uh, produce some pilots. And that's where Ben Casey came from. Uh, ben Casey uh, the, was a huge success for us. Uh, one of the most popular sales shows that we ever had. And uh, at any rate, uh, I got off the, the track. But getting back, I had gotten to be very friendly with, with Ben Crosby. And in fact, we had been to Africa hunting a couple of times on American Sportsman. And I said, if we could get Bing to do four shows a year and get somebody else, we were talking about George Burns, to do four shows a year, and then we've got something to sell. So I got off the plane, turned around, got on the plane, and went back, and Bing Crosby was in Las Vegas. And he, he, I, I called uh, Rosie Rosenberg, his agent, and he met me there, and we talked this thing through. And, and Big said, okay, we'll do it. We'll do the first show, uh, the first two shows, and then two more a year. And it, it was a strange sort of a show. The problem was that dadgum demographic I'm talking about. It was old. It was, it was all over 50. That audience was made up of, of people. It was a nostalgic sort of a thing. Corny as hell. But Nick Vanoff was a magnificent producer, my gosh. He was on top of everything that went on in that show for four years. 